My name is Jill, Jill Behen, and I'm talking today about some of my experiences with the Jan Sambad Yatra in Madhya Pradesh. I joined the Yatra in Katni, which is in central Madhya Pradesh, uh, on the 16th of May. And I've spent the last 30 days uh, with it, uh, going to different Janssen Y, meeting different journalists and middle-class uh, communities. And I found it a most interesting experience. My first observation was the, the large number of community workers that I saw in every meeting uh, uh, in the course of the 30 days that I was with the Sambad Yatra. Uh, there is uh, clearly um, almost in every destination that we were in, women leaders organizing the logistics, organizing the presentations, organizing the proceedings, and with such confidence. And, you know, the reason that it's remarkable is you don't always see that in mainstream Indian society. So it was, uh, I could give you uh, many examples uh, of the women leaders who are in the movement, who are galvanizing the small community struggles and the, and the leaders into a large uh, formation, a mass movement. Uh, you know, in so many places, because of the massive industrialization and the infrastructural development, people are being shunted off the land uh, in a way that is unprecedented in this country. And when you see the misery of particularly mothers with their children without uh, a way to feed their children, uh, who are very poor agricultural laborers getting uh, very small uh, remuneration uh, and trying to figure out how to survive, when you see that level of distress, it's extremely disturbing. Uh, I would like to say that uh, the Samvad Yatra will continue for another three months and I will come back again in, in a couple of weeks to join it till its end uh, and hoping that it will have a national impact before 100,000 people march to Delhi because if it does not uh, have some sort of national impact it will be harder to gain the momentum that is needed by having so many poor people come together uh, and make this action great. Uh, of course, uh, they need to see some advancement in their issue of land rights, because without that, their survival is uh, under threat. And so we, we, we look forward to seeing uh, more national interest, both from the middle classes, the political classes, and the media, in, in supporting uh, this very, very important initiative. And I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the international response. In the Geneva, Switzerland uh, work, we will have 100,000 people in mid-September sit down and eat a meal in the spirit of uh, 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 good food, adequate food, food security, not only for the European peoples, but for in Indian people. And this is to raise attention and uh, uh, interest in the Jan Satyagraha, which will start two weeks later. There is also at around the same time a march uh, by, the French, uh, by a, a French delegation that will last for 15 days and that will travel through France uh, uh, rallying people around the notion of land. As you know, in France, there's a very large organic movement, an anti-genetically uh, modified food movement. And so many of those forces will come together, small farmers, uh, political leaders, civil society, to be on a march of possibly a couple of hundred people over 15 days to also show solidarity to the march in India. So that's France. So we are working at the moment with Braz Brazilian NGOs, civil society groups, social movements. We're working with Colombia uh, in Latin America. We're working with Kenya and Senegal in East and West Africa, respectively. And we're working with Indonesia and some of the South Asian groups in Asia to have <coughs> simultaneous actions uh, occurring. and 
This is not only to show solidarity, but to work on land issues in their own countries. Uh, we will also, uh, we're trying to bring to the international media attention the Jan Sityagraha, so we'll have some live streaming and use the social media to the best of our ability to have, uh, to bring the daily march in India to many households around the world so that they can write letters, be in solidarity and uh, enjoy the participation of the march without actually coming to India. We will also have uh, groups of people coming to India to join the march, but as it is a political action, they will be observers, they will be witnessing, they will be tourists. They will not actually be participants in the march, but it gives them an opportunity to see some of the non-violent uh, uh, action that is going on here. And finally, we're planning to have a non-violent uh, meeting of non-violent scholars, scholars who study and promote non-violence in late September uh, in order to show how important uh, the, the use of non-violence is in social movements and in, in very conflictual uh, uh, issues like land uh, so that people can engage in that in their different struggles in different parts of the world.